In 2012, Dangote cement factories were opened with a focus to make Nigeria self-sufficient. Four years after, in 2016, the company has made Nigeria a net exporter of cement. Today, the company is holding its eighth annual general meeting and shareholders are better for it. The group and company have kept proper books of account, so far as appears from our examination of those books. The group and the company's financial position, statements of profit or loss, and comprehensive income are in agreement with the books of account and return. We are actually not uh, sitting, we are sort of like a, uh, a race. Any year we declare a result, we don't want to come the next year and declare even a result matching that we want to do better. And I'm sure you have seen that in the first quarter. When Africa's richest man sits on the board of your company, your guess is as good as mine. Eight out of 50 Kaba is payable today as dividends to shareholders for every 50 Kaba share held. I think this is one of the best dividends in Nigeria and it is a consistency with Longo Testament. They have been paying uh, shareholders very good dividend. By the time that Julius Baja finish our terminal in Apapa, we will be in a position to export at least about 4 million tons out of Nigeria. Nigeria will be the uh, one of the largest exporter of cement. Actually, not one. They will be the largest exporter of cement in sub-Saharan Africa. Sales volume for the year ended stands at 23.6 MT, a percentage growth of 25%. Revenues hit 615 billion naira. There's also a 4.5% increase in earnings per share, a spread into 10 countries and still counting. Management says the company's growth trajectory stands robust against odds.